So I wanted to do a follow-up video about supply and depots. So in this video, I want to kind of ask some or answer some specific questions that I've come across in either the comments to some of my videos or comments in other threads. Hopefully I can answer some more questions about how the supply situation works in Grand Tactician and how deep depots work in general. Question one, can depots be destroyed? No, they cannot be destroyed, but they can be captured. So capturing the depot also, victor to the victor goes the spoils. You will capture all the provisions that were at the depot at the time of capturing that depot. And if you lose a depot, same thing, you will lose all those provisions that had been brought into that depot, which will touch on base why that's really more important to think about in long-term terms because of all the money that you are going to spend supplying your depots. You can also raid enemy depots, causing damage to those depots. What is up with supply depot costs? They are crushing my economy. Why can't we destroy the depots? This is a very common question, and the developers may decide to give us this option to destroy or turn on and off depots that are behind enemy lines, but... But rest assured that your frontline depots get priority and will buy supplies on the open market to feed and supply your armies and they get priority. The further away from the front lines a depot is, the less they will supply and the less they will cost you money. Our Franklin Depot being on the board near the border of Union Held, Illinois is maxed out on their level 2 depot. The Rala depot is a little bit further back, but it is a level 2 depot and has about half the supplies there. Even further back is the Springfield depot, and even with a threatening army near it, without the a Confederate, a large Confederate army near there, it is not supplied. Now that situation may change if we move this Army of the West closer. But you can tell that the depots that are not on the front lines are being resupplied less, less frequently. So keep in mind, supply depots will store military supplies and, can, and distribute them to nearby armies directly without having to use the infrastructure with its limited transport capacity. Once built, depots can be upgraded to support more and larger armies. So supply depot costs are more a function of your, the health of your overall economy than anything else. Now conventional wisdom may suggest that building more depots means more depots trying to buy supplies on the open market, which there's probably a strong argument to make that case. But overall, you need to focus on your overall economy and figure out ways to keep producing the supplies your armies need and keeping those costs down. So do you need to build more industry, produce more manufacturing? Do you need to provide more agriculture to sell on the open market to other countries to increase your income? Are you overproducing government funding and printing notes devaluing your currency and creation, creating inflation? Those are all the kind of questions and more that you need to kind of ask yourself and how that's going to affect your supply situation. Another common question I see from time to time is why can I not see my supply lines? And the basic answer is that for some reason the game likes to default under the map information settings, it has the show supply lines information set to off as a default. So I always usually click that on when I open up a new game and you can see the supply lines coming from the depots that the 
army in question is drawing supplies from. Another question that I have seen is how can I tell how much the depots are supplying our armies? If you look at the unit box, you can see this dot near supplies. It shows you, it'll bring up a tooltip. If it's highlighted in dark black, that means that unit is drawing supplies from a depot. And the tooltip will try to estimate the amount of men those depots that it is drawing supplies from, how much it can support. Now these are estimates and you can see that Price's Core here is drawing from two depots, Vandalia Depot 1 with a supply capacity of 6.3 thousand men and the Salem Depot which is upgraded to level 2 at 23 thousand men estimated. Um, you can see the refilling speed so it is actually struggling to refill or it's not refilling very efficiently at the moment which could mean one of several things that the transportation system is having trouble keeping up refilling those supply depots or the depots themselves are having trouble buying the quantity that it needs in the open market. The level of depots seem to be estimated around level one the estimation usually about 6.3 thousand men, level two depots around the 23 thousand men, and level three depots I've seen about 38 thousand men. Again, all estimates. There's a lot more variables. Like I said, if the depots cannot gain access or buy enough supplies, then they may struggle to actually supply 23 thousand men. Well, I hope this short video about supplies and depots in general help answer some lingering questions about the supply system and Grand Tactician the Civil War. If you feel there's even more questions that weren't answered in this video or the other depot video, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will work hard to find those answers and present them to you. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, Please go ahead, like that, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I do appreciate your time for watching. I will see you on the next one.